Welcome to In The Light, the show that brings you high definition praise. I'm your host, Nick. Now the aim of this show is to bring to you different art forms that can be used to give praise to the Most High. We focus on a group of core forms though, that's dance, music, and poetry. We will give you a taste of different artistic forms, but this is featured in our miscellaneous segment. Now, music and dance can be broken down into subgenres. In the show, we'll be focusing on two core genres, that's hip-hop and dancehall each week. But we will delve into different genres also in our miscellaneous segment. So as you can see, the miscellaneous segment, you never really know what you will get, but I can assure you that you'll be enjoying it. Alright, first up is our hip-hop segment, right? Now in this segment, we'll be featuring two hip-hop songs from the Exist music label. First is OD by Yavez, right? The other track is Ugly Love by The Truth on his album Love, Hope and War. Now that's an ill album, you really need to get a listen on that one. Now dancing will definitely be done on these tracks and that's done by a couple of dancers from Portraits of the Word. We have Jev, we have Remy, we have myself and that's just for the hip-hop segment. Closing out the hip-hop segment is Michael the Godchild with his song Username and Password which can be found on his Street Remedy album. Check it out. Just give up. So easy. It's only beauty when it's a yeah. But my feelings are distorted. I've been fighting too long. Too long. I tend to run when things go wrong. Yeah. It's easier to just give up. But it's only beauty when it's a so My broken heart's an open target. Uh, I'm standing on the wall, they throwing darts. At. Is it my fault? I'm feeling so exposed. Huh? Feel like I'm laying in an open coffin Sometimes, sometimes I don't know what to say Yeah, when we together it's an awful space Uh, and I don't do too well with this rejection So I wanna pack my bags, can I walk away? But I know I cannot get up, please don't push me I'm on one knee, only want us to spend time She don't want my company Everything is so surface, what I'm trying to see what is underneath And I know love ain't perfect, but I never knew it'd be ugly but my vision is distorted, I've been fighting too long Talk to the one at home, so we talk to the one on the inbox. 
And now the trust is gone when she's alone She checks your phone, you're online all day and night And she don't know what's going on You tell her not to worry, none can compare to her But yet you chat with them while laying next to her Her mind is going places, waking up and seeing faces Your chat history is gone cause you make sure that you erase it Oh please don't be deceived, soon you'll see just what I mean Life is like a game of chess and you don't want to lose your queen Use your name um. and password, lock me in Username and password, lock me in I got a friend, who's with me all the time God gave her to me and we don't have to meet online She's a friend, no matter how my face look I won't trade my baby girl for another girl on Facebook I got a friend, who's with me all the time God gave her to me and we don't have to meet online She's a friend, no matter how my face look I won't trade my baby girl for another girl on Facebook Username and password, log me in. Yeah. Username and password, log me in. Yeah. Username and password, gotta type it faster. Looking for love in a Facebook club. Every day you wanna look right past her. Who was there in the midst of the drama? Child support came from another baby mama. Ex went left and you swore to yourself that you was never ever gonna trust another woman. Uh, maybe you should think about her before your queen is gone. What would you do without her? Keeping up your happy home. That girl on the other end really don't know what it is to have your back. You ain't seen that girl in a while and you really don't know if shorty look like that. Maybe she's a snake in disguise, messing up your happy lives. Maybe you should open your eyes and finally say goodbye. I got a friend bye, bye, who's with me all the time. God gave her to me and we don't have to meet online. She's a friend, no matter how my face look. I won't trade my baby girl for another girl on Facebook. I got a friend who's with me all the time. God gave her to me and we don't have to meet online. She's a friend, no matter how my face look. I won't trade my baby girl for another girl on Facebook. I hope you enjoyed the hip hop segment. Up next is our discussion. I did this discussion with Remy. We basically sat down and had a talk about gospel music, different gospel genres, whether they're wrong or right, music on a whole, if it has a negative influence just by the instruments and how they're played. We basically just sat down and gave insight about how we felt about gospel music, whether it's anointed, whether it can save lives, touch souls. Basically gave our views on that. So just sit down and take that in. Enjoy. Today we're going to be talking about music, gospel music in specific, to be specific, different genres of gospel music, what makes it wrong, what makes it right, what makes it anointed versus no anointing, and the effect it may have on persons. You know, we're going to be coming from different angles, and we're going, we just want you to think about what's being said, we want you to actually just think about what God says about it, because we're going to be using scriptures and we're going to basically be expressing what the Holy Ghost says to us from our hearts. Now, we're going to be asking each other different questions, because you know it is a discussion. And we want to basically see what each person has on their hearts. Alright? So, what makes a genre a genre? Right? First of all, a genre is just a category of literature or music. Basically, any category of entertainment that can be classified based on criteria that they may have in common, right? So let's take, for example, reggae. Now that's local, that's mainly Jamaican. That's unique to us somewhat. You may have other countries trying it. You may have Japanese doing reggae, right? But reggae, based on its composition, is unique to us. Trinidad may have soca. Right, and then based on those different similarities that they may have, that's what groups up and make them a genre. You may agree? Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. But I noticed that it's also based on the beat and the right. sound and the rhythm. Right. But it can be so subjective that you know I may see something as blues and right. another person sees it as reggae. Right. So it's basically what you feel and what you get from the song. Exactly. Now let's dive right into what the Bible says about music itself, right? I'm going to draw a scripture. I'm not too sure what Remy going to draw, but I'm going to draw for Psalms 150. All right, let's start from verse three. It says, praise him with the blast. Well, this is the New English translation. 
Praise him with the blast of the horn. Praise him with the lyre and the harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dancing. Praise him with stringed instruments and the flute. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with changing cymbals. Praise him with, let everything that has breath, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Now, if you have a problem with the New English translation, let's draw for the King James, right? King James. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the soldier and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. Now, that scripture is basically saying, you can use whatever instrument that you may find common. If I decide and I want to get up and use a bucket, and I want to beat that bucket, and I want to do a dub to that, there's nothing sinful about that, because that's what my scripture say. What makes it wrong or right is what I say. Right? Yeah, I understand that. But you know what can make it very controversial is the mm -hmm. fact that yeah, it speaks about loudness. Right. You know, you know, people tend to question like Christian rock. Right. And Christian rock mm -hmm. saying that those I've even heard a, a preacher said that that's straight from the devil. Right. But then who are we to say it's from the devil? If it's speaking the word of God in truth. Right. They say too noisy. Yeah, it's too noisy. Too noisy. But even boisterous. Let's, let's look at Psalm 100. All right. Right? Mm -hmm. King James Version, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, right. all ye lands. Mm -hmm. Joyful noise. Right. Noise. So I can't find any way of expressing myself. Exactly. I can't sing. Yeah, I can stomp my feet. Right. I can shout. I can do a screech. There's even another scripture that says, shout to the Lord. Right. So even in that, where you have rock artists. Right. Just screaming. Exactly. Just exactly. Screaming, the Jesus, Jesus. Right. We have no right in ourselves to actually say that they are singing or their sort of music is from the devil. Right. Just because it doesn't appeal to us. Exactly. But if they're speaking, if they're praising their God in spirit and in truth, I just, I just can't agree with it. Exactly. And if you are going to look on somebody and say that what they're feeling is wrong or what they're saying is wrong, even if they're quoting from scripture, who are you to judge, really? Sounds like the Pharisees to me. I'm not really calling any names right now. I'm just really using scripture to defend our points. And we're not really trying to create any division in the church. That's not what we're here to do on the show. We basically want unity. We want you to realize that there are different persons who may favor certain things. I may like hip hop. I may like rap. I may like dance all gospel. But everything has a place. I may not want a hip-hop song or a hip-hop gospel song in the morning before work starts. You know, that may just spark a headache. But <laughs> let's just say that morning I feel for it. Is that wrong? I don't think so. And if what they're saying to me is from scripture, if what they're saying to me can be justified, and if what they're saying is the same thing that the preacher is saying, the only thing that he's not doing is using instruments with it. How come all of a sudden it turned wrong? Boy, it just goes based on the person because I can wake up and I can feel to listen to a slow song. Right. Right? And I listen to that slow song and it blesses me. Right. And you know, I'm feeling God. Right. But later on in the day, I find myself being just a bit too quiet because it's carried over right. into my, the other activities. You start looking sad and people yeah. wonder what's wrong with you. So that just shows that praise is necessary. It wouldn't right. be in the Bible if right. we didn't need to do it. So, you know, I have to find different kinds of music and even music that appeals to me. Your look, personal taste. Yes. Look right. at like rap music. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can listen to a rap song, right? Let's compare it to like another, another song that kind of repeats you know, like a, a reprise. Like right. it says, praise the Lord, let's continue. And it says, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. All right, that will bless me and that will make Do me feel good and right. make me get excited and full of love. But then there might be a, a situation in my life mm -hmm. that I need ministry. That, that praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord song right. would really reach me. Right. The same way that a rap song that 
sometimes would be speaking out my life, speaking the specifics, out the situation, right. specific, and it, that song would carry an anointing right. to break the yoke that I was carrying. That raises a good point. Let's talk about anointing, anointing. right? Anointing. Now we have a lot of <laughs> older folks, not to bash anybody, but they like to put an anointing on their artists of their generation. And all of a sudden, Generation X, as sometimes we're called, we have no anointing. Unless you may have that one, two, or those few artists who decide they're going to stick to that old school. Yeah. Right? Now, that reached them. You know, back in the day, that worked for them. And if it worked for them, there was something in that music that gravitated, that, that did something in their hearts. It worked on them. It probably spoke to what they were going through. It probably spoke to what they liked in terms of what instruments. I may just sit down and I may like a little guitar song, you know. It don't have to have no whole heap of nothing. It may just have a little man playing him guitar and him singing. We don't need no music, right? <laughs> and we just stopping and, and clapping and praising the Lord. And, for me, that's all the anointing I may need for that specific point in time. Now, how are you going to say that that person that was singing about God and what God has done in their life or what God can do in my life, how are you going to question whether or not they are anointed? Again, that sounds very judgmental. And that's what creates a lot of division in the church, right? A lot of things that we may pick apart some may go down and try to define what they mean when, when the Bible say, make a joyful noise. He didn't literally mean noise. Well, if I'm singing and I don't sound so right, it may sound like noise to somebody, but that's my praise unto the Lord. Who are you to question that, right? Now, let's get down into really what makes it wrong. What really makes what they're saying? Because I'm not going to say to you that every gospel artist is repping Christ. You have a lot of gospel artists that do this because they can't make it in the secular world. All right, one second before you right. switch from okay. the anointing. I have something like, I may have a church song, right? Mm -hmm. When I say church song, the typical songs that yeah. we hear in the church service. In the glory right? skirts and all. praise, praise, yeah. yes. Praise, praise, praise. Those can teach me how to worship, right? right? How to worship my God mm -hmm. and, and my deity. And it, you know, like the songs like that will make you feel like you want to bow down and right. whatever. But even in that, let's relate it to scripture now. Right. When Jesus had his disciples, he discipled them. Right. He taught them how to walk in this thing. Mm -hmm. So even though praise and worship is necessary, you can see that discipleship is also, also necessary. necessary. And this all can be done through music. Right. And I see that done in rap music. At whichever like, form. You know, no showing you how, showing you how to think, showing mm -hmm. you what not to and to do. Right. You know. So yeah, let's get back to what's wrong and what's right. All right. Now, what makes it wrong is again, is it scripture? Is it truth? Is it what Jesus wanted to say when the Bible was being written? Is that what God wanted His people to hear? Is that what is necessary to bring people to Christ? That's what makes it wrong or right. What's said on the beat, music in its, in its original state is pure. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like water, right? What makes it wrong or right is basically what is put on it or what is put in it rather. What the artist decide if he's going to use Genesis to describe to you how the world was created. Nothing's wrong with that. If somebody wants to go from Revelations, you know, or if somebody wants to just go from Psalms and just glorify Christ, that is exactly what makes something wrong or right. And I think we can all agree on that, right? Yeah, totally. All right? Totally. So with that, we come to an end of the talking time. We will get probably right into some poetry or some dancing. Let's see what's next. I hope you enjoyed that discussion. I certainly did. If you have your views or your opinion, anything you want to share on the topic, you can hit me up on Facebook. You can write to me by email, whichever one is more convenient for you. Now, we'll jump right into the dancehall segment. 
where the local vibes is brought to you by some dancers from Portraits of the Word. You saw, you saw two already, Remy and Jeff. And you have two more coming to you, Shem and Akeem, some ill dancers. Now, they dance into a track. The track, it shot. The track named Make One by Lifer. Now, that mixtape on a whole, it shell. You need to check that out. Right? Big up to Lifer himself. Alright, to close out this entire segment, we have a video by Joe Rap. Now, this video, before I even give you the name, I have to just make you know, say, this video, one of the best gospel local videos I've seen. The video named God in my heart. You can check that out also. It'll be here and in the lights. One, two, three. We rep Christ every day. Oh, yeah. Because we want to see. So Jesus Christ out the way. Oh, hey, oh. So Jesus Christ, man, I pray for. When we touch the roof, we him, no, no, we not take time. With the word, we are still strong. Disciple of Christ. Every day, we are made. No hesitate for run no upon them It no matter the weather I could have rain or so no upon no them Young equipped and available for him So word of God no, no done out for me And we no watch who want intimidate No no, them bigger than fit with faith Lose a screw in a your own smile for fit with face Love we are preach cause of Christ we are in it yeah. Represent Jesus name cause we got to All things good in our life but we got to And we no take prisoners when we preach it God. None of my power with them shame on the dust Yeah, yeah Wave your block like a tidal Blood your ends clean up with the love of my God Yeah, for save souls that are my stand With Jesus glory now your life that are my stand One, two, three We rep Christ every day, oh yeah. Because we want you see So Jesus, see Jesus Christ out the way, oh so for Jesus Christ, man, I brave heart. When we touch the road for him, no, no, we not take time With the word, we are stay strong Disciple of Christ, every day we are made one God the hearts with the soldiers, them They check passa passa are them, they over them, they me no know why you over them left When he make sure say them eat, make sure say them dress Righteousness, I be set before the dollar make If it not say Christ a death before this honor then I know me not honor them Because the counsel of the ungodly is honor them Yo, them want me dead Cause them can't believe I want Jesus Christ You would make a 10,000 man army fled them limit me My tired for tell them is that a I'm a 
Nobody know me at some pool, me fig one stuck up Me attack, nah, shut up Word of the food, so me make sure knife and fart that up Chad that up when me chad that up Love I come out and he nah back up Feel everybody, Muslim Hindu, no matter what you been through Rasta or nah, not up Still I wanna dry when me teeth are skin Still I drive out when me wheel are skin Love from me heart and a teeth and chin Love from me heart and a teeth and chin People are see me and them keep asking How oh, you so happy when me see you passing Never see you in a bench, never see you flossing And this me tell them I just got, I just got, I just got So we've come to the end of our first episode of In The Light. I had a blast. I certainly hope you did. Now, if you want to be a part of the show, whether you dance, you're a poet, a singer, just send us a video via email and we will check it out and let you know. Now, I hope you view the next episode because it will be just as fun-filled. And I hope you are blessed overall. Peace out. In The Light. <laughs>